Tropical Storm Trami blew away from the northwestern Philippines on Friday, leaving at least 82 people dead in landslides and extensive flooding that forced authorities to scramble for more rescue boats to save thousands of terrified people, who were trapped, some on their roofs. But the onslaught may not be over, state forecasters raised the rare possibility that the storm the 11th and one of the deadliest to hit the Philippines this year could make a U-turn next week as it is pushed back by high-pressure winds in the South China Sea. A Philippine provincial police chief said Friday that 49 people were killed mostly in landslides set off by Trami in Batangas province south of Manila. That brought the overall death toll from the storm to at least 82. Eleven other villagers remain missing in Batangas, Colonel Jacinto Malaneo Jr. told the Associated Press by telephone from the lakeside town of Talisi, where he stood beside a villager whose wife and child were buried in the deep mound of mud, boulders and trees. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen visited the central Bosnian village of Donja Jablanica on Thursday, after it was devastated by recent floods and landslides. The disaster in early October claimed 27 lives, and the small village was virtually buried in rocks that descended on the village from a quarry located on a hill above. I am here 20 days after the disaster and it is still heartbreaking to see the devastation, the destruction here in the region, said von der Leyen. Bosnia has sought EU aid and many countries have sent teams to help through the EU's civil protection mechanism. Europe stands with you and we are here not only for the short run but also for the mid and long term, to help you first of all, of course to help immediately, but second to reconstruct and rebuild after the disaster," she added. Unfortunately, the other side, when uh, the box came from the ferry, at uh, 7 in the morning, going to work, was going to work. 
Evo sad, samo sad u lutke, njega ja ću. Mogu samo gora imati prošlika. I am here 20 days after the disaster and it is still heartbreaking to see the devastation, the destruction uh, here in the region. First and foremost, my thoughts are with the victims and the families and friends they left behind. Uh, what a horrible experience. I heard that the disaster started in the middle of the night. People had no chance to uh, flee the destruction. And I wanted to say Europe is by your side. Europe stands with you. And we're here not only for the short run, but also for the mid and long term to help you, first of all, of course, to uh, help immediately, but secondly, to reconstruct and rebuild after the disaster again. Heavy snowfall caused havoc for traffic in the Russian city of Magadan on Friday after a powerful cyclone hit the country's far east overnight. Snow covered roads and sidewalks for some 12 hours, trapping cars, emergency vehicles and even snow plow machinery. Rescue services were stationed at the most treacherous roads in the city and on the magadan balaganoy Talone Regional Highway, according to Vyacheslav Kozlov, the regional deputy head of the country's emergency ministry. Snow is typical for the Magadan region in October, but usually it appears gradually, unlike this year. The cyclone is expected to continue in the area for another 24 hours and then move towards Kamchatka and Chukotka. Где КДМки? Где что? Всю ни одной машины нет на дороге. Чистим тротуары, вот надо на вторую полосу переехать, не могу. Тяжело снег, тяжелый, ну, резко так. На опасных участках в городе выставлены спасательные посты на высокопроходимой технике, а также на перевалах территориальной дороги Магадан-Балаган-Эталон.